How does the moon cut his hair? Eclipse it. <laughs> <laughs> what did the chair say to the other chair? See you later. <laughs> is a lot more fun when you guys are here. Go learn some stuff! Hello, my friends. Happy Monday. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend and you're ready for another awesome week of learning here at Wilmore. Now, we got a few announcements today, but before we get to the announcements, uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about something uh, real quick, okay? Every Monday, we stand here, we put our right hands up, and we say our Wilmore Creed. Now, for those of you guys who don't know what a creed is, it's basically like a promise that we're making to ourselves and to our school, right? Our Wilmore Creed says, Thunderbirds soar because we respect ourselves, we respect others, we play safely and fairly, and we always do our best. The reason why I bring this up is because there have been uh, some things that have been talked to me about that do not reflect our best as Wilmore, uh, as a Wilmore family, okay? And this has to do with our restrooms, okay? Now, this is not a topic that we generally talk about. Usually when somebody says restrooms, somebody in the class is <laughs> giggling and whatnot. But I want to have a really serious conversation with you guys as my friends. You see, um... I am friends with the uh, teachers and with the noontime supervisors, people who watch you at recess and lunch, and I'm friends with the janitors. Uh, I, I like to be friends with everybody on campus, and every once in a while they'll come and talk to me um, or to Principal Mills about concerns that they have. And one of the concerns that's been brought up a lot over the last little bit is that our restrooms are not a place where our students, where you guys, are showing the, the proper level of respect. Some of the teachers whose classrooms are right next to the restrooms have, have talked to me about how it's loud and there's screaming and yelling and all sorts of stuff like that. Our noontime supervisors say that people are going in there and playing around when they're supposed to be out at recess or out at lunch. And our janitor even told me that there are some of you guys who are leaving paper towels on the floor. They're spraying water all over the floor. So we're going to have a, a what I call a frank discussion, a very purposeful discussion. And I need you guys to listen, okay? You know, Mr. Wheeler, I love to have fun. I love to do magic and read stories and, and mess around and jump around. And sometimes I am upside down in the videos and sometimes I'm sideways and sometimes I'm in a gorilla costume and sometimes I'm doing the award ceremony with the silly wig on my head. You know I like to have fun. But one of the big things that you need to learn if you're going to be good citizens is that there is a time and a place for fun and there's a time and a place to be serious. Okay, the restroom is not a place where we go to have fun. A restroom is a place where we go to do four things. Thing number one, use the restroom. It's very important. It's the name of the room. Okay, thing number two, after you are done using the restroom, or sometimes just because you need to, you go and wash your hands. Okay, thing number three that you do in the restroom is you dry your hands. Get paper towel and dry your hands. And thing number four in the restroom, you take the towel that you use to dry your hands, the paper towel, and you throw it in the trash can. Those are the only four things that should be going on in the restroom. You should either be using the restroom, washing your hands, drying your hands, or throwing away the, the paper towel that you use to dry your hands. If you are not doing one of those four things, 
then that's a problem. Then you are not showing the respect that our school deserves and that you are capable of. You see, here at Wilmore, we only have the best. We have the best teachers. We have the best staff. We have the best noontime supervisors. And most importantly of all, we have the best students. And because you guys are the best, we hold you guys to a very high standard. Okay? If you were to go to some other school that's not as awesome as Wilmore, maybe they would be like, ah, our kids are losers anyways. They can run around and do whatever they want in, in our restrooms. But that is not us. We are Thunderbirds. We are Wilmore. Okay? You guys are the best students anywhere. And so we hold you to a higher standard. You are winners. You are the best. Of all the students that I ever get to meet, you are the best ones. But that means that you need to act that way all the time. So, I know this is very long, but this is something that's very important. Okay? I expect you guys to treat yourselves and our school with respect, and that includes everywhere, including our restrooms. So, I know that you guys can do this. I expect for the next few months that we're in school that all of the reports that I will hear about the restrooms from the teachers uh, that are next to them will be, oh my gosh, the kids are so nice and quiet when they go to the restrooms. I love it. I expect to hear from our noontime supervisors that you're going to the restroom and then coming back in a quick and timely manner. Or from your teachers that you're going to the restroom and coming back in a quick and timely manner. That you aren't playing around in the restrooms. I expect to hear from our janitors that when they go in there, there's no water on the floor because you haven't been playing around in the sinks. And there are not paper towels just thrown on the ground. Because that is who we are. We are Thunderbirds. We soar, right? We do our best when we respect ourselves, right? So respect yourself as somebody who is awesome and a Thunderbird. Thunderbirds don't throw paper towels on the ground. We don't splash around in the water in the restroom. We show the respect that it deserves. We respect others because we know that our teachers need to be teaching. They don't need to be coming into the restroom and yelling in there, hey guys, you need to be quiet so I can teach my class. Our noontime supervisor, we respect them by doing, by going where we tell them to go and doing the thing that we tell them we are going to do. And we respect our janitors by not making their job more difficult than it needs to be. Every time that you take a paper towel and instead of putting it in the trash can, you throw it on the ground, Mr. Chris or Mr. Nathan, our nighttime custodian, have to pick that up. And that's not okay. So, my friends... I expect you guys to live up and be the type of awesome kids that I know that you are. Which means that when you go into the restroom, you do one of four things. You use the restroom, you wash your hands, you dry your hands, and you throw the paper towels in the trash can. Okay? All right. Now that that's out of the way, let's get to our more fun announcements. Announcement number one! This is very exciting. Next Monday... There's no school. That means this weekend, right? It's Monday. We go school Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Then you have Saturday, Sunday, and Monday off. A nice three-day weekend. And you know what? Not only do you have a three-day weekend this coming weekend, but you have a three-day weekend the next weekend. That means that you guys get to do all sorts of fun stuff with your family and your friends. And you don't have to worry about coming to school and learning. You can, your brain can take a break for a day. Isn't that fun? Yeah, that's nice, right? Now, obviously, we're going to miss you here at the school. I'm always sad when we have days off because I don't get to hang out with you guys. But, you know, every once in a while, we need a break, right? So, next Monday, no school. Remind your parents, right? We're going to be celebrating Lincoln's birthday. Lincoln is one of our greatest presidents. That guy was awesome. He held our nation together when it was trying to be pulled apart. He's a great guy. The week after that, we celebrate Washington's birthday. Washington was the first president of our country. He's a guy who they wanted him to be king. And he said, nah, no, no, no. We don't want a king here. We want the people to be free. We want them to elect their, their presidents. Yeah, those guys are awesome. So we're going to take a day to celebrate them. And it's going to be fun. So that's the first announcement. Uh, announcement number two. 
we have the bookmark contest. Yes, that means that you could win. All you have to do is you take this piece of paper that should have been given to you by your teachers. If not, teachers, let me know. I'll make some copies and drop them off to your class, right? You draw a picture in here. Now, your picture is supposed to be themed as reading is fun. And this is a topic that is very close to Mr. Wheeler's heart because I know that reading is fun. I love reading, right? So you draw a picture that represents that reading is fun. And then you give it to your teacher. And then just like we had the art contest for the cover of the yearbook that we announced last week in our, um, in our award ceremony, we're going to have a bookmark uh, winner. And we're going to make a huge bookmark. And we're going to make copies of the winning bookmark and hand it out to all the kids here at the school. It's really, really awesome. So if you like to draw and you would like to be considered for the contest, please make sure that you take this, draw on it, and make sure you get back to your teacher by February 23rd. That will come up quicker than you think. So don't wait until February 22nd to start. Do it now and turn it in early. Okay? All right. And our last announcement, for any of you guys who are in second grade or higher and are not part of the Boys and Girls Club, the after school program, if you would like to be, okay, come and talk to Miss Rebecca after school and have your mom and dad talk to Miss Rebecca after school, okay? It's a really fun program. They do food, they do games, they do all sorts of fun stuff. They help people, they help you guys with your homework. It's awesome. Any of your friends who are in the Boys and Girls Club can probably tell you how awesome it is. There's also ESP. If you'd like to sign up for that, talk to your teacher, talk to the principal or have your parents give us a call and we can we can help them uh, get you guys signed up. It's re they're really cool programs. They're after school. The people who run them are awesome. Okay, they're friends of mine. I really like them. They do a really good job. Okay, so those are all of our announcements. Let's get to our flag ceremony part of our flag ceremony. So we're going to start with the Pledge of Allegiance. So everybody stand up nice and tall. Put your uh, right hand over your heart. Take everything off your head. Right hand over your heart and repeat after me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, my friends, now it's time for our Wilmore Creed. We just talked about this, right? So standing up nice and tall, putting your right hand up, and repeat after me. Thunderbirds soar because... We respect ourselves, we respect others, we play safely and fairly, and we always do our best! Okay, my friends, and now it's time for our wonderful national anthem. This is the song that represents our country, so stand up nice and tall, everything off of your head, right hand over your heart, and sing along! Okay, my friends, that is all for today. A another quick reminder, make sure that you are treating our restrooms with respect, that you are respecting yourself by being the type of person that I know that you can be. Respecting others, our 
noontime supervisors, our teachers, and our custodians. And uh, make sure that you are being your best when you go and use the restroom, okay? Um, also, uh, have a wonderful week. Have a lot of fun this week. Work really hard. Do what your teachers tell you to do. And as always, go learn some stuff!